Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. As you're watching this, I should be driving up the M6 after what's hopefully been a really good weekend at Fluke for a steam rally. Um, as long as the weather's been okay, it'll be alright. It's actually Thursday night now, so I'm sort of waffling on in past tense, I suppose. Tonight's nightcap, I make a small manifold for a really old vintage car. Uh, I try to make one out of copper and then I make one out of stainless steel. Um, I'm not quite sure which one he's used. He's going to send us a picture when he does eventually get it on his car. There's only going to be one nightcap tonight, but I am going to put another video up. Um, a while ago, I did some work on an air rifle um, selling pellet catcher. Well, I've got that finished. Uh, I did a little bit of wood butchering. I don't do much of wood, but I did a little bit of wood butchering. I got it finished and it works really well. Uh, I'm really getting a bit more interest in air rifles now. I've actually ordered another, a new air rifle, a better quality one. I'm looking forward to that coming and making some more, uh, more videos all about air guns. I'm not going to be killing things, I'll just be shooting targets in the garden, basically. I've got quite an interesting little job to do here. I met a guy at Kelsell Steam Rally and the lad has a 1930 Peugeot motor car. At the minute it's got a side draft carburetor on it and he wants to convert it to downdraft. So I'm going to make a little short manifold up, 90 degree manifold. It's got a, that flange on one end and this round flange on the other end. I've done the drones, I'm going to cut them out with the extreme uh, plasma machine. And I was trying to find a bend and that's what I found. It's a plumber's fitting, 90 degree bend, just the right diameter. Which reminded me years ago on the old Petra Land Rovers, they had a it was a zenith carburetor on it was like a cement mixer carburetor i used to pour petrol in we should take those off and use a plumber's bend i think it was an inch and a half and put an inch and a half so on and that absolutely transformed the performance and the economy uh, so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to cut the flanges from five mil metal steel plate and then i'm going to braze them onto this little 90 degree manifold so i'm going to cut the oval one first i'll put the bolt holes in as well They'll need filing to finish size. Uh, the centre hole should be just about right. So it's kind of ready to start cutting. The noise you'll hear is my extractor fans room in the background. The fans on first. It's always a good thing when the pod drops through, it means I've got the settings just right. That's the flange I've just cut, that's the top and that's the bottom and there's very very little dross to clean out on there. The holes are nice and parallel, happy with that. The hole is straight on the small side, but it's better too small and too big. I'll just clean it up with a die grinder or a file, quite happy with that one. Right, this is the wrong one, the wrong flange. Once again, fans on. Once again, drop through, ideal. I'm just going to use a file to clean this up with. I think it does in the world of good every now and then. To do something with hand tools instead of always using machines. Very satisfying. It doesn't need a great lot taken out of this. 
and saying that there's enough once taken out to what I'm using the die grinder, which I think is what I'll do. Very near now. Right, finish it off with a file now, it's just about there. Would fit that's exactly what I want to fit like that. Now I can lie it flat, braze around there, it's got a bit. I'll just check and make sure I get the angle right. I think it's at 90 degrees to the hole. I'll make sure we'll clean this up with a little bit of emery tape and then get it brazed into there. That's definitely where it goes in line with the stud holes. Got some pre-flux sprays and rods here that are pretty good, we'll just use those. I've got it resting on the fire break just to keep the heat in. Put a flux into it first. We're looking for like a dull red temperature, which is very near there now. I'm not that impressed with these rods actually. I'm not impressed at all with that. It's not forming a fillet like I expected it to. And it's certainly breathing, it's not going to come off. There's a lot more flow than what I'm used to.
straight, we've definitely got it. I'm trying a different rod on the, the wrong one, I think. Trying an ordinary brass rod with some ordinary flux. There's been a little bit of a change of plan. Uh, I realised when I've got that brazen to there and I put the wrong flange on on the top, they're going to be too close together. The distance is not big enough. Uh, that's a, what they call an end fill or an end solder joint. Put the solder in the end. I'm getting the pre-soldered one here which is a little bit longer and I'm going to put it directly on the end of there instead of having it set in and that'll do the job quite nicely. These are going to ring a soft solder on there. I have to take that soft solder out before I braze them but that'll be brazed onto there, still be more than strong enough. So we'll warm it up, get the solder out, get it cleaned up and then we'll braze it again. I've picked up a new tube of brazen flux as well because the stuff I've got wasn't very good. How was it? Chest face feet steam rally a couple of weeks ago and a lad come and said are these any good to you and he gave us some welding rods and they're actually brilliant rods. They're really old ones, uh, surf bronze number one, nice rods so I'm going to use them and see if I can get a better joint. Right, that's the, the brazed one there, and that's a silver solar one there. I mean, I've done it, it'll work. I'm not happy with it, it's not the sort of... I'm just not happy with it. I went and saw my friend Stuart at Advanced Automotive. They do race car exhausts. They need some nice stainless steel bends. I've cut some more flanges out, and I'm going to weld these on. It's going to give it a lot more room. He's got more room to play with. The whole concept of the job is going to be much better. So that's... The next plan is to fail them out, make them a good fit, and then weld those onto there. Right, that's the finished result. Welded on the inside, same there, and just a couple of decent tacks on to give it a bit more strength, but that'll give him no problem at all. And there's plenty of room, he's got loads of room on his car, so that's going to be a, a better job altogether. I'll send him that one as well. There's no comparison, is there? Once again, it's your time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. A massive thanks to everybody who sent emails, letters, words of encouragement. Uh, it has made a massive difference. I'm sure it's made me feel a lot better and helped on my sort of journey of recovery from the, the dog doldrums I was in to the state I'm in now, which is not exactly a full John, but I'm not very far away. Anyway, thanks for watching.